What was that drawing of Shakespeare? <laughs> We're back. The motards de la space. this. I swear they add little in-betweens that are different every time, you know, and I'm just not paying attention enough. That's not what it's called in English. It's called Rocketh and Rideth in English. Why is this me? Why has this museum got a giant book? <coughs> Why does this museum file old literature right next to dinosaur skeleton? <laughs> the skull. And totem? Totem pole? Museum has no organization. These nerds, oh, girl, kissed us. This is so weird. Why did she? The shortest one. Oh, I remember that classic Shakespeare one where they all wear tuxes throughout the entire thing. Oh, they're going. I thought she said act it. And I was like, what? <laughs> popcorn and no one <laughs> that's amazing Oh, 
I don't like it when we see Frodo's eyes, it's weird. <laughs> he just had all their gear on underneath tuxes. They're stealing stories and deleting them from the minds of everybody. Does that mean Limburger invented the Mandela Effect? Or is that something else? <laughs> My party and I can beat up fish if I want to. I remember when Hamlet was a comic book. It probably was. Quick, suck it into the cake tray. Oh no, they're doing time travel again. What? They got transported into Shakespeare land. <laughs> if, they, if you told me that there's a biker mice version of every William Shakespeare, I would watch that. I probably wouldn't enjoy it, but I'd watch it. I have to admit, this fit looks good on all of them. What the hell? <laughs> and Charlie has the worst dress. <laughs> what the fuck was he doing? <laughs> so they were talking about the Tempest and now it's Hamlet. <laughs> Why is this stuff here? I am going to steal fiction and mine its resources. Calm down, Disney. <laughs> they had guns and now he just has a morning star or a flail. I forget.
Everybody buys the farm. <laughs> Literally just all of them. They're gonna do the whole thing. have exactly the same beard and are all red-headed. It's just an excuse to put Charlie in various outfits. Maybe. <laughs> gonna do all of them? Are they gonna do Romeo and Juliet? Useless romantic tragedy. <laughs> of course, it's Vinny. Cup of root beer. <laughs> Is it particularly like going to change their fate if they can break the script of the play they're in at any point to do whatever the hell they want? Like, it seems that they're only marginally affected when they want to riff on the whole idea that they're Hamlet or whatever. They can just break the canon. They're not trapped playing parts and having to get out of it. There seems to be no rule. They just show up and they're like, oh, we're doing Romeo. Okay, let's go. Let's move Beth.
How are they doing that with their voice? Sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks. What is he wearing on his feet? Oh, it's just the grease. How? Why would she be wearing? Oh, okay, I'm just not even gonna ask anymore. <sighs> Isn't it weird? Kilts are one of those things that you're taught very young, and then it's like, no matter if you're Scottish or not, you're almost never going to actually traditionally speak speaking wear a kilt in your whole life. It's like this is a kilt. You will never see anyone wearing a kilt, but just so you know, this is a kilt. Scottish people wear kilts, and it's like, you go to Scotland and like, it's only in traditional parades, like, or like some, some English guy with 4% Scottish heritage at a wedding. What the hell is with his proportions there? What is wrong with his arms? They're getting bigger and smaller. His head's fucked too. They got back all the fiction. Thank God. Giving all English students stuff to study for the rest of their lives. Me, uh, Charlie's face, it seems very wobbly, like all of her features are off model all the time. <laughs> Famous Shakespeare story of the three little pigs. Did they just send them anywhere? Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Oh. 